All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Brian Plays uh, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Sorry, I forgot what we were doing there for a second. Um, so, what have we got? Lost artifacts, lost artifacts, lost artifacts. So, I'm going to kind of uh, work my way through some of these lost artifacts on this episode a little bit, and then we'll move on to the next uh, region. I kind of want to uh, farm a little bit, kind of uh, level up, get some more skills. Um, I feel a little handicapped from the last game, just because in the last game, I had a lot of... Uh, there was a lot more skills that I had that I was... Uh, what now? Let every line I write portend in Mordor, death is not the end. Okay. Got him. You better be dead now. Another ranger sword, and it's better than the one we got. We'll equip it. Uh, hold on. Uh, destroy that. I can't destroy the base sword that I start with, but that is fine. That was really interesting. When we break the walls of that city, I'm gonna carry off anything that isn't nailed down. That filthy tongue! Let's get some interrogations going. Um. Unknown captain. Zoon, the ancient one. New intel learned. Cool. All right. We'll review what he's weak to later. We're not going to fight him, but... Alright. Alright. This is cool. One hell of a coliseum. And we have a fast travel point over here that we might as well unlock while we're here. So, come on, let's get some lore. <laughs> RB, pick up. You can find artifacts looted from the Great Halls of Minutes Ethel scattered throughout Mortar. Find them all to unlock the Prospector's skill upgrade. In the Great Hall of Minas Ethel, we didn't just safeguard the treasures of our past. We kept our present there as well. An archive of all our official correspondence with the capital. I used to file away missives from Minas Tirith after my father had read them. This was a weekly task at first, but as our surroundings grew more dangerous, scrolls like this one became more rare. I wonder whether there were promises of aid that the orcs intercepted. Plans for relief that we never saw. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so each artifact we pick up, we get a little bit of lore out of. Nice. Um, let's go ahead and get this. The workings of government reduced to parchment. Minas Eagle didn't need parchment. It needed reinforcements. All right. <laughs> Purify the Hidir. That animation is so cool. Oh, okay. So the more we, more of these we unlock, the more. Okay, I see. Gondorian artifacts. What else we got? Uh. Another Ethelidin. Another 
another Gondorian artifact. Another Gondorian artifact. Uh, come on. There we go. A memory, and I think we have one more artifact that we need to find. Um, let's see. Oh! Got it! Awesome! Nice! Alright, cool! So that is actually not bad. Let's go ahead and Up. come on ah got it let's go ahead and pick this up this is gonna be a you know this episode is gonna be when a little Eleanor bit didn't return from his confrontation with the witch king word of a little his bit loot heavy spread like wildfire across Gondor the Witch heavy. King's forces were regrouping, rapidly seizing lands once under Aenar's rule. Some regions fell so quickly that letters sent by the first ruling steward of Gondor, Mardil, never reached their destinations. For generations, we stored the unread letters here, destined to remain forever sealed. Okay. We know those lost Gondorians will never claim their letters, but we keep them to honor their memory. I wonder what will become of the last few letters I sent on my father's behalf. Okay. Uh, so before we go get the rest of these, I do want to... No, no guide. Options. Why are the subtitles not on? I swear I turned them on on the last... <laughs> Turn it off. You no longer... Well... I guess subtitles are not working for some you reason. You are not tempted to read oh. the letters. No need. I know the heart of my people, so I know what they say. I'll go ahead and get this. Actually, this one's closer. So we'll go get that, and then that, and then that. Okay. Let's do it! It's cool getting all this... All this stuff because it actually gives a uh, cool interactions between uh, Talion and uh, Celebrimbor. Um, can I? Can I actually? Got it. Got him. Green guard. Green guard. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next one. Oh, I have the Elven Rage ability available. It's a good thing nobody can real none of these orcs can actually scale buildings like like I can. Otherwise, this would be kind of annoying with them chasing me everywhere. This pipe is purported oh, to be pipe. the creation of hobbits, a sort of halfling that lives beyond our reckoning in the north. Ah, hobbits! I wonder at the strange notion of full-grown adults who scarcely reach my waist in height. But after what I've seen in Mordor, a hobbit would be a welcome sort of strange. Though I don't think a hobbit would last long in Mordor. Well, you'd be surprised. That's funny. Now all I need is some pipeweed. Which you won't find for leagues in any direction. Another, gonna have another memory puzzle here. All right. Uh, 
excuse me. Hmm. How do we actually get over there? Um. There we go. They come to me seeking knowledge, but instead they find death. They ask of their fate, for themselves, for those they love. I gave mercy to those I devoured, and I damned others with vision. The web of fate. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize I got it. Okay. Um, cutscene? No. That looks like a ring of power. It damns though. us with vision. Okay. Um. All right. Go ahead and get this one. And what of the Palantir? We will take a great risk in using it. and run We cannot claim to have built it. That honor belongs to exiles from the fabled realm of Numenor beyond the Sundering Seas. Wondrous architects, they fashioned this city of marble to reflect the moonlight and glow with an inner warmth. But the city's beauty and light drew the ire of the Witch King, who has long sought revenge on Gondor. Interesting. The Witch King. Don't know much about... Uh, the lore of um, Middle Earth, but the Numenorean's knack for towers rivals the elves. Who do you think taught them? They were but precocious students. <laughs> All right, I'm getting the hang of the these jumping mechanics. It's really good that I'm doing this, if for no other reason than. Uh, for no other reason than uh, helps me get a hand a uh, hang of traversing the the environments. Gondorian folk tales abound with drakes, uh. lesser versions of the great dragons who supposedly slumber under the earth. Yet here in Mordor, I've seen them with my own eyes, though from a safe distance, and they are nothing like the storybooks say. They are lethal hunters of the air rapacious and cruel, apt to torment their prey before eating it. This scale, taken from a drake carcass we found in a ground cave, gives some sense of their size, and how strong they must be to carry such weight aloft. Cool. The drakes. Apparently we're going to be flying those around later, so that actually will be interesting once we get to that. Okay. So what I'm thinking is we go ahead and get this one and then unlock this fast travel point and then we'll basically wrap up the collectibles in this area. Scale of a drake or a full-fledged dragon? Certainly yeah, but in the comments uh, below, let me know if y'all uh, don't want me to actually do this on camera. Uh, if, if it turns out that people just want me to play the story, then uh, we'll just play the story. But... Uh, for now, on this episode at least, we're gonna get all of this. Father always said, a proper war banner has two roles, to direct and to inspire. In the chaos of battle, he'd say, you won't march wrong if you keep your flag in sight. Now the orcs have cast down our banners. 
but Gondor's flag still inspires, even if I see it only in my mind's eye. So long as one Gondorian lives, the white tree still stands tall. Yeah, that's yellow. That's not white. Just saying. The flag of our people. Long may it fly. Concern yourself more with the towers it's flying from. Um, okay. Can I, um... Okay, there we go. And that's the last tower on this area. Oh, wait, what? Got it. Another artifact here. Nothing over here. Artifacts, all right. Oh, got it. Another Ithilidin. All right, and then we got to find this memory. Where's the memory? All right, that's everything. Nice skill point gained. Uh, Cool. Okay. Let's go ahead and unlock a skill then. Uh, brutalize. No. Ranged. Go ahead and do detonate. Why not? Kind of evening out every... all of our skills. Okay, so what is going to be the best course of action here? Uh, I hate that we have to backtrack for this one that it detected way back here, but go ahead and just do it anyway. All right, let's do the backtracking first. Really? I'm pretty sure that double jump could have made it to the... Oh, shit. It's a good thing that Elmer Fudd, is that what he said? He said Elmer Fudd. He said Elmer Fudd. I know y'all heard that too, so don't even lie. That was Elmer Fudd. Hashtag Elmer Fudd. All right, let's go. I like that they give us a lot of fast moving abilities quick so that we can kind of skirt through this area. Hey, rat. Right. Remember. Gway. Gway. Oh crap. That sounded like like an orc that recognized me. All right. Never mind. Yeah, I don't have an army yet, so I don't need to interrogate worms for anything. We are going to fall. Alright. Ooh, that guy is all by his lonesome. Okay, seriously? I did that just because he's by him lonesome, his lonesome, so I don't have to fight a bunch of people to get the intel. And the only reason why we're not actually, um... This guy's got a black blade. Epic trait, Curse Master. Increases, increases curse damage dealt by himself and his allies. Interesting. Alright. At this point, we're just collecting that just so that... It, just in case we run into any of the ones that we've already uh, unlocked their, like, traits for, or, like, what their traits are. 
Um, on the off chance that we run into them, we'll have at least an idea of how to defeat them. Okay, come on. Come on. Go higher. Higher. What? Okay. Might as well take this one too. get that I hope they haven't removed like that one perk from the second game where you stun them every time you vault over them because that was like the perk that made the last game like super easy once you unlocked it and the fact that they vamped up how many en enemies are, or how many orcs you fight in the screen at once on this game I'm actually eager to see if uh, okay seriously oh there it is never mind got it Alright, cool. So now, after we get these last few Gondorian artifacts, we will go back over here and check the Ithilin door to see if, uh, see if there's any, uh, thing interesting in it that we definitely want. And then on the next episode, we will, uh, proceed to, uh, actually, uh, go on with the story of the game now but now that i know what oh the red arrow is one of gondor's most treasured symbols though few know just what it symbolizes when our need is dire we can present the arrow to the men of rohan and they are bound by ancient pact to ride to our aid we should have used it in the early days of the siege but the orcs encircled us so quickly and Rohan is too far away. Okay. New enemy, Karagors. Karagors are fearsome predators that pounce on quickly and quickly shred their prey. Their deadly jaws protect them from frontal assaults. Okay, yeah. I'm not fighting a Karagor right now. Rohan would honor. Arrow if they saw it. Difficult to say. Men have short memories. And shorter still in a crisis. All right. Ooh. The orcs are obsessed with rings, more so than coins or jewelry of equal value. They snatch them from prisoners immediately, and what happens to these rings is anyone's guess. We rarely find orcs actually wearing them. That's an interesting bit of lore. Uh, all right, let's go here. A fine ring, but I gather it's an ordinary one. Ha! Scarcely worth the same name as the ring we created. Got it. All right. Gondor has faced the Witch King before, and he's had a vendetta against Minas Ethel ever since. This coin depicts the victor, Aena, last king of Gondor. Generations ago, Aena led an army that routed the Witch King and sent his army fleeing to Angmar. But our victory turned hollow when our king grew prideful. The Witch King challenged Aenar to single combat, 
and Aenor rode eastward from Minas Tirith, never to be seen again. It takes a nation to defeat such evil, not just one man. Cool. Okay. Interesting lore about this Witch King. I don't know if that's going to become a big, like, story thing later, but... Eleanor, he who fought the Witch King twice because he did not finish the task the first time. Throwing some shade on Aranor. Oh god, oh god. Look, that's high. Man on the wall, get him! The Tark's wall talk's got to ground. Fight him! Ooh. What? Each city in Gondor administers its own justice in all but the most important cases. And in my lifetime, we've always handled legal matters in Minisethal. When I was a girl, I recall my father being much occupied with mercantile disputes and other legal affairs. Then the orcs came, and matters of justice yielded to matters of survival. Well, okay then. Enemy is raising the alarm. Stop him. Whatever. The gavel. Always seemed an odd symbol for justice. What is justice? If not a hammer to beat down a hard nail. What does raising an alarm actually even do? Like, for reals though. Um. Region boundary. Okay. Got it. Okay. I him plainly. When you look upon my form, what do you see? A monster? A temple? He would not answer. Look deeper, I said. For I am not the masks I wear. In this, Sauron and I were the same. Okay, so she knew Sauron somehow. Uh, I have a feeling it's here somewhere. No. Okay, come on. I got it. I got this. Unless I'm wrong and it's something else. My controller's vibrating right here. Whoa, okay. Uh, is it gonna actually play the whole vision? Not the masks she wears. Remember this, Talion. Okay, well, we got a skill point out of all that, so... Uh... Wraith. Plus left trigger to quick throw a dagger to that damages and staggers enemies. Uh... Shooting an enemy's foot freezes them in place. Brutalize. Perfect counter. Well-timed counters knocks enemies down. Yes, I need that. Alright. Alright. What do we got? Wraith location now available. What? Uh, excuse me? Silly goth. Oh, okay, I don't need to. I don't need to go there. Um, hold on. Back. No. Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know what that white dot is, but interesting. So, ah, okay. So we got another uh, wraith of thing that we can do. But before we do that. I'm going to go ahead and do the Ithilin door. See what is behind this door. Hopefully, a skill point or two. Or 
an uh, epic root, an uh, epic uh, weapon, or epic something. All right, got our sprint back. Um, I think it's faster if we go this way, actually. So we will go this way. And bolts. All right. That's the ranger. Yep, that's the ranger. And I'm already gone. I got him now. All right. Now we just got to make our way to a rooftop here so that we can I kind of wish that double jump went a little bit further. Oh, that's the edge of the level. Um, cannot go down there. Okay, now I can go over there. Okay, so some of these I have to wait until I unlock abilities to actually complete, which is fine. Uh, we will. Okay, come on. Ithlin door. Let's go. Depending on... If this takes a while, we may just end the episode here. But if not, we'll go do the other um, helmet mission thing. I forget what it's called. This door is locked by Ithilin inscription. Find the missing whatever. Return with ancient poem. Restoring the poem. Use the recovered Ithilin to restore the poem. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I have everything. RB, restore poem. What? It lands a Mordor where the... Shadows lie. We bear our banners aloft, boots like. Uh. Is it supposed to actually rhyme? Our. Uh. Cadence, countenance. For who in the dark dreamed, haunted. Resist the righteous flame of. Wrath and themselves and doom themselves to despair and death. For who in this dark dream haunted land? And then drums. Is that it? I got it. Awesome. I honestly went with just what made sense, but. In the land of Mordor, where the shadows lie, we bear our banners aloft. Boots okay. like drums, our fate is quick, our countenance dire. For who in this dark, dream-haunted land dares resist what is the righteous flame of wrath and doom themselves? Bright Lord Armor, legendary gear. Legendary weapons and armor are among the most powerful items in Mordor. Legendary items special properties are activated are active immediately. Completing challenges with the item equipped allow you to increase its level, further increasing its power. Oh, to despair and death. Unlike rare epic, rare and epic gear, a piece of legendary gear can be upgraded multiple times until it reaches a maximum level. Nice. Okay. Okay. Legendary gear also comes in sets. Equipping multiple pieces of the same legendary gear set unlocks even greater bonuses. Press A to equip legendary gear. Well, yeah, that's cool. You can view legendary gear sets and their bonuses. Nice. So, one recruit 
recruit a tank that is level 20 or higher. Okay. Uh, interesting. That's cool. And I'm sure we have to do something else to get some more of that. So let's go ahead and take care of this. Um, actually, I can show you how to conquer Mordor, Ezlo. I didn't actually... No. Inventory. I didn't actually check what that skills were. Gain one wrath when getting hit. 16% less damage from range attack. Set bonus. Gain wraith. 50% faster. Okay. I mean, it's not that bad, so we'll take it. Alright, let's go. Let's go. I recognize this place. I fought here ages ago. It's quiet enough. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Let's go actually do this side thing, and then we'll call it an episode. And I guess from now on, I'll reserve these types of uh, missions that aren't main story stuff to, uh... I'll reserve it for, uh, side questing on my own, so I apologize, but for wasting an episode on this, but it's in I just wanted to, uh, at least on camera show that I'm actually trying to figure out what all this side stuff is, so, um, that way nobody can say, oh, he didn't do any of the extra stuff that's super important. Which some people do, so what? Whatever. Uh, all right. Powered by the One Ring, Celebrimbor was nigh unstoppable on the battlefield. To recall his exploits by defeating thirty enemies. Okay. Right. We had ambition in abundance. I had the One Ring, and Sauron did not. He would not dare stand against me. Yet he did. Okay, so I have to focus on getting those perfect counters. Damn it. Ow. Okay. What? How did I miss my hit streak? Alright, well. Oh! I was at 26. Just need ten more. Oh, that's thirty. All right, we got it. All right. And we did it. Check, check, check. What's that blue thing? Oh, it's a, it's a, uh, attachment for weapons. Okay. Or that red thing. Was it ambition or arrogance that bade me face Sauron directly? Um, gear. All right, let's go ahead and equip that thing, and then we'll call it an episode, I guess. Um, oh, I have to unlock these slots? Well... 
suppose I could slot that then. Potency increases damage with all attacks. Yep. And then I might as well unlock that. Okay, and that's that. Alrighty, so that'll do it for this episode, I believe. Uh, wait, what? Were there two of these here? Okay, we did complete them both. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that'll do it for this episode. Oh. Well, never mind. Had the ring not betrayed me and slipped from my. I'm gonna finger. say that's gonna do it for this episode. But we uh, may have uh, one more thing that we forgot to pick up. Uh, what is this? Critical strike melee attacks have a chance of causing critical hits for additional damage. Yes. All right. All right. Sorry, I forgot that we had missed one thing here, and I could have interrogated that guy. Damn, should have pressed double tap that A button a lot quicker there so I could have got to that wire. Would have been. Alright. And we got it. Skill point gained. I wonder if the elves have mundane objects as we do. For even their common containers and vessels seem uncommonly fine. This artifact was once part of a table setting given as a gift centuries ago. The other parts were broken when one of Mordor's many ground tremors knocked them off a shelf. How I wish my predecessors had saved the broken shards. That's a puzzle I'd like to reassemble. Elven things deserve to last. Cool. Alright. Another skill point gained. Uh, gear. No, damn it, not gear. Skills. Okay, cool. Ground finisher. Decreases the amount of time it takes to perform ground executions on down enemies. Might be a good thing to get into. Brutalize. Uh. Uh. Kind of want to do some ranged stuff, so let's go ahead and do that. It's the next one that we unlock. Slow time and aim while in the air. This consumes focus. Shadow Strike. Okay, cool. Shadow Strike was a carryover from the last game. Okay, anyway, I'm going to call the episode here, and on the next episode, we will uh, continue more with the main story of the game and figure out what we do from there. Uh, yeah, but it was good... Uh, it was definitely good uh, kind of catching up on my skill set with uh, sh uh, Shadow of, well, from the previous game, basically. So, uh, what is with their, like, head bobbing? Okay, whatever. Uh, anyway, I'll catch you on the next episode, everybody. Later. Please leave a like. Oh, sorry. Please leave a like and subscribe. That really help does help out. And, yeah, any support I get really does. I do appreciate. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna let y'all go. I'll catch y'all on the next episode, everybody. I appreciate it if y'all stuck it out this far on this kind of boring-ass episode, I'll admit. But, later! <laughs>